Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. And who's that? Long neck. Long neck. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing part two of our dinosaur series, doing two new ones. So let's jump right in. <laughs> So to show you how to draw these dinosaurs, I am going to do it through my iPad using different shapes to show you how to put these dinosaurs together. And we're just tracing over my original sketches that I made, which I'm going to make available on Pinterest and Instagram for you to screenshot and trace yourselves. For this one, let's start with a big oval, like a sideways egg kind of shape like that. And then on the tail side, you're going to scoop down long, come back in. And then on the head side, it's gonna be the same kind of down, but it's not gonna be as long. So you're gonna go a little bit shorter. You're gonna scoop down, do a little beak for where the nose kind of is, come back in and meet at the bottom of that circle. I'm just gonna erase that and try again like that, okay? Then the legs are pretty easy. You're just gonna do kind of a big oval here and then stocky bit down for the foot. This one's gonna curve a little bit like it's walking back there. And then this one is just gonna come back a bit and down like that, okay? And then the spikes for the Stegosaurus is kind of like a diamond shape, but you're just not seeing the bottom of the diamond shape. So it'd be like, here's a diamond, right? You're just not seeing the bottom, okay? So you erase that. So if it helps to make the diamond shape, do that. Otherwise, you can just go like this all along the back. And the Stegosaurus has these on both, like they're kind of in a row of two on each side. So these ones are facing us. And then you have some that are behind those ones. And then he has these like little spikes at the back too. Um, so yeah, they, he has some at the back. So you're just gonna do them slightly off. And these ones are kind of behind those front spikes. You're just following the same kind of shape. Like that. And now you can either sketch it on top or just erase what you have inside. So I'm just gonna erase some of these shapes. Make it a bit easier. Instead of sketching it all out again, I do it like that, and just lightly, like so. And there is our Stegosaurus. That one's not as bad. Okay, so let's start with the body. Let's do a nice big kind of circly oval, okay? And then from this oval, you're gonna come up and do this long neck like that. And you're gonna do another long thing going down. I was gonna do a straight line for his um, tail, but it was too long, so I decided to curve it in. So I come down, try again. Come down and then curve in, put it to a point, follow the curve and come right down to the bottom of that oval. And then his head has this kind of like little egg shape at the top and then just to come down, do a mouth, and just make it all fluid. Now I'm just gonna erase this instead of drawing it again. Erase that shape in the middle. And I'm just gonna draw the legs. So again, just like rounded thigh area, and it comes down pretty stocky. You can do it for the front too if you want, or just like maybe a little line there. Then the back one, and then a little back one back there. And that's it. Okay, so we're starting with our Stegosaurus here. And I'm just gonna wet my brush completely. I'm using my size 12. And I am going to start by filling in my dinosaur. Now, if you wanna take a light wash of whatever color you're gonna use. So let's make this dinosaur. We're gonna make the Stegosaurus kind of like a greenish, brownish, color. Now I'm going to wet up the whole body except this back leg. Okay. And the back leg behind there, not the back leg. Sorry. I'm going to wet up the whole body except this front back leg. If that makes sense in that back leg. And I'll show you why after. 
Okay, so just take your water and go over the whole body, leaving the spikes as well. Okay, and now to make sure you have enough water, just slightly tilt it towards the light to make sure you've gotten all the, the spots. Make sure it's not dripping everywhere. And you're gonna mix your color. So I want a more of a brownish, not a brown, but like a brownish, greenish dinosaur. So I'm gonna add some burnt umber and some sap green, okay? And I'm just gonna take a light wash of that and I'm just gonna go over the whole body. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna take a bit more brown and I'm just gonna drop in some of that brownish green at the top, doing some dots, or actually I might just go along the spine in that darker color. And when you pick up your brush, you'll get some of those blooms. that so it's a bit more brown at the top like that and then I'm going to take some darker green so just a bit more of the sap green and I'm going to start dropping in some dots and just let those Colors bleed and bloom and let it do its thing, like that. Now, I don't really like the brown that's kind of on the face. I'm just gonna mop it up a bit, maybe just move it around a bit. Maybe I'll bring it down. Maybe I'll just do strictly brown at the bottom. Actually, let's get a darker green going in here right under the stomach. Okay, like that. Maybe under the tail. Like that, I might add a bit more brown. And I'm just gonna outline this front leg just a bit and the foot. Just let those colors bleed like so. Maybe a bit darker at the top here too. Just have fun with it. Like honestly, there's no wrong way to do this. Drop in whatever colors you like. Actually might make this stomach part a bit darker. So right behind this leg. You can even add some yellow on there if you like. Okay. So now I think I'm gonna leave that and I'm going to um, work on the brontosaurus while that part dries or brachiosaurus, I can't remember. Okay, I think for the brachiosaurus, we're gonna do it more of like a blue-ish color. We're gonna have fun with this one. So I just have some Payne's Gray that's already in there. And I'm just mixing in some turquoise. Might grab, I think I'm gonna grab some, I think this is cerulean blue. And I'm just gonna do a light wash over the whole dinosaur. But I think I'm gonna leave a little bit under the neck white for now. And I might drop in a little yellow after. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this light wash of this blue. Okay. Again, I'm gonna leave that black, the black leg, the back leg 
bear. more blue. It's covering this whole thing with the light wash. And the tail. Again, we're going to leave the underside of this dinosaur a bit lighter color because I'm going to drop in some yellow. So I'm just going really, really light with this blue because I don't want it to mix and be super green. I really want it to be, have that bit of yellow. So actually, I'm just going to go over with some just water where this chest is, where the neck is. Okay, so if you need to, tilt your paper. Make sure it's evenly wet everywhere. It's not dripping off the page. Okay, I'm just going to pop that up a bit, clean it up a bit. Okay. So now that's fully wet, we can start dropping in the fun color. I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow, cadmium yellow. That's going to be a lot, actually. And I'm just going to go in underneath the neck here. Like that. And under the belly. And under here. here. Okay. I might even drag some lines like that. Get a little bit of texture going on there. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to grab my blue. Might even grab some cobalt blue here. And I'm going to go along the back side of the dinosaur. And let it bleed and do its thing. Like that. I'm going to come in here and just Add a bit dark, darker bits. And add a bit of darkness behind this back leg here. And then I think I'm actually gonna take whatever Payne's gray I have in here and I'm gonna just go along the back to make it darker. Or I think I have indigo too there. I'm going to go along the back of the head again. Just having fun with it. Whatever patterns you'd like, you can even do dots on this one. Like that. Okay, and I think we're gonna leave that to dry. Actually, I think I'm gonna take my just water and go over this front leg a bit, this front back leg. <laughs> Wet it up. And then we can do some shading on that one too. So I think I'm gonna take this dark color, the Payne's Gray, and just go around the leg there. Grab some of that cobalt blue or the cerulean blue that we had before. OK. 
Okay. I'm gonna even do a line here just to separate that a bit. Let it bleed out a bit. Now, I don't think I'm a fan of how that really turned out, but <laughs> I should have waited until it dried. It's fine. We'll wait till it dries on that one. And we can just add a little bit of extra detail after, but I still love the colors on this. Okay, so we're going to wait for those to dry and then we will come right back. Actually, before we, we wait for them to completely dry, this one is still a little wet, but it's not completely wet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit more of that green and I'm just gonna drop in a bit more paint. So it's not exploding like it was before because it's starting to dry. But it will give it a little bit more texture. Okay. And I might go up the back again. So it's already started to dry, but it's not completely dry. So you'll get a little bit of a bleed, but maybe you can always wait too. It's getting a little bit of that bleed while it's still wet. Okay, so now that's dry, we can do the legs. So I'm gonna go back in to this leg. I'm using my smaller brush just because I'm working on a smaller area. I'm gonna wet up this whole leg. Like that. Then I'm going to start dropping in the same kind of colors. Now, because the dinosaur around it, like the body around it is um, dry, you're gonna get that sharp line for the leg, which is what we wanted. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill it in a bit, grab some color and start doing like dots on it if you like, wrinkles, I'm gonna grab some brown, make it a little darker like that, like so. Okay, and then you can do the back leg behind here and because this one is behind, we're gonna make it even darker. So there would be a bit of a shadow. I'm just leaving a little bit of white space between the legs so they don't bleed together. I'm gonna grab a bit of green. Grab some brown, do some dots. Like so, okay? Might even grab a little bit of black and just tap it in under there. So it'd be a shadow, okay? And now we can also work on the, what are they called? The, the, Pointy parts. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna do like a brownish red. I have this color here called um, brown matter. It's really beautiful. So I'm just gonna start filling in. Let's start with the back ones instead. So I'm just gonna do a light wash. I wonder if you can hear my husband just blowing his nose. That was lovely. He knows I'm filming. It's fine. So I'm just gonna do these back ones with a light wash of this brown matter. I'm gonna drop in a bit more color. That's a bit darker than I wanted, it's all good. Okay. Like 
that. Drop in a bit more color if you need to. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab a bit of burnt umber, so my brown, and I'll also drop it at the base of some of those spikes. Might even go in with some darker brown too. I think I have the sepia here. Yeah, there we go. Let's get a little bit of shadow at the base of the points. And then back here, they also have like little spiky bits that I'll just do with that light brown like that okay and then we'll wait to do the ones in the front um let's work on the legs of this guy okay so I'm going to do darker legs for these two legs that are behind so I'm just going to grab that darker blue that we have here that. Grab a bit more of that Payne's Gray and just darken it up where it would be right behind the body. The body would be casting a bit of a shadow. Like that. Might do a little bit of lines there. <laughs> Can you hear my little dinosaur in the background? Be sure loud. Okay. And then again, just darkening up right there. And then you can also take just a little bit of paint on your brush and just outline a bit of the leg, the front legs here. So I was hoping to get this kind of effect, but we it, ble it bled all together. So what I might do actually now is just add a bit of water here. Take a bit more of that darkness and just let it bleed a bit. And then just blend it out. Like that. So it's not as harsh of a line. It's kind of blending into the body a bit. Wash off my brush. Blend it out. Okay. Wash off my brush. Blend it out. Like that. And it should dry pretty well. Okay. So there you go, there's that. Um, and then as for the faces, let's just do little eyes. I'm gonna just take some black. Hope I don't mess it up. And I'm just gonna do like a smile, a little smile there, just a, an eye like that. Nothing crazy, okay? Same with this one, a little kind of scoop like that. I feel like just something really simple, okay? All right, so right before we're done, we're gonna do these front peg parts. Oh, we can actually darken this front leg too. Just sharpen that up a bit like that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the front spikes. Again, I'm just gonna start off with a light wash of our color. So go over the whole spike Like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take more of that color. I'm gonna go around the edge, make it nice and bright. Okay, leaving the center a little bit like um, with the light wash. Then I'm gonna take a dark, you can take darker brown or black. I'm gonna go along the bottom and maybe a couple lines around one side if you like, totally up to you. You can do some dots, give it a little bit of texture, whatever you want. And you're just gonna do that on all of them.
go. There are your dinosaurs, your stegosaurus and your brachiosaurus. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Say bye.